Welcome to the new year. I hope the year gives you everything you could ask for and is filled with happiness, good health and more. Today's coverage is a viewer requested video as the industry welcomes in the new year. It never sleeps. Airworthiness directives are relatively common, frequently occurring for any aircraft manufacturer, whether for Airbus or for Embraer, maybe for small planes or large planes or even helicopters. However, the Boeing 747 has emerged in the past week with new failures impacting the series. Published on the 29th of December, but also being mentioned prior, the new airworthiness directive now includes both the 747-400 and the 747-8, meaning it's a series-wide directive now. Quoting the regulatory body, reports of wear through of the motor impeller intel adapter of a transfer pump for the horizontal stabilizer fuel tank caused by contact between the pump inlet check valve and the inlet adapter are what is being impacted by this airworthiness directive and what they are wanting customers to check. So what's next for this exactly? Well, as we enter the new year, 28 units registered within the United States will now need thorough inspections, although this number could grow. These inspections should come back to inform the airline's governing body and such if replacement parts are needed to be installed, but generally speaking, it will allow us to get the understanding if adjustments need to be made to the broader aircraft. While the Federal Aviation Administration ordered these mandates, they do not represent the wider problem that could say impact countless more 747s globally. If the Federal Aviation Administration or the FAA is initially mandating inspections for 28 US registered 747s, you may be asking how do other markets review such a series? Well, this is the job of each country or region's respective regulator, whether that be Australia, New Zealand, the United Kingdom, Europe and much more. And in addition, it must be mentioned that the latest ruling includes that of the newer 747 models. That means the Dash 8 series is included. Previously, the AD, standing for Airworthiness Directive, did only include the older 747 models, the likes of your Dash 400s. Boeing does expect to deliver its final 747 to Atlas Air very soon, with the rollout of the final unit taking place last year in December of 2022. It's the end of an era, but the 747 will thankfully long continue flying for decades to come. This is thanks to its presence as a freighter where you can expect it to fly for many more decades. And regarding passenger variants, well, while it's on the way out, we can thank the secondary, third and fourth hand markets giving these planes a new lease of life in more niche markets globally especially in the freighter side, where we have our predominant operators of the likes of UPS and Atlas Air. But if you do have a look at Flight Radar, you'll be able to see many 747s still flying with airlines you may not know actually exist, whether they're freight operators or, again, niche belt carriers. What are your thoughts on the new airworthiness directives? And of course, I hope you have a lovely 2023, enjoyed the first video, and will enjoy much more coverage to come right here on the channel. Take care, be safe for the new year, and I will see you next time.